Hello everybody, it's Tammy. Welcome back to my channel, Creative Girl Vintage. If this is your first time to visit, I do crafting tutorials using vintage materials, um, show you things I've made, share a lot of inspiration. We have a lot of fun over here. So I'm glad you can join me today because today it is all about this really cute little assembled ornament. We're gonna be making her, plus I wanna show you a couple of things, a couple new assemblages that I've just put together. So so I'm sure they'll inspire you. So let me grab up some supplies and let's make an ornament. Our inspiration today came from Etsy shop Sweet Pea Curiosities. Okay, so this was a download, actually um, six pages included in this download. The collection is called Spring Rose. So in the Spring Rose collection, there's six pages. I was um, really inspired by um, this postcard. There was a couple beautiful postcards. And this is where I decided I wanted to make this ornament. This was, this was, was my inspiration. This little vintage tag, which is on this sheet right here. You can see this is one of six, but how how pretty these things are for your junk journals, collages, decoupage, art projects, everything. Just download onto your computer, print them out, and just use them over and over again in all of your art projects. So truly love this co collection here. There'll be a link to Sweet Pea Curiosities um, below, as well as I'll link the Spring Rose collection as well. So we wanna thank Marissa for um, making some beautiful pages for us to craft with. Okay, so my two little inspiration pieces here, printed out on cardstock, and we have to make these just a little bit stronger if we're gonna do an ornament. So what I've got here is just a piece of cardboard. This is any run-of-the-mill cardboard. You can use a cereal box. This is probably the, the strength, the uh, thickness of a cereal box, really light. And what I did was I took um, just some uh, glue stick and rubbed it all over and glued a page on the back. This is a little Christmassy page, but I was kind of going for a little Christmas ornament anyway. So I put some scrap of paper on the back. And so what we'll do is put our pieces here on this side of the cardboard. And we're basically sandwiching cardboard between a nice back and our front. Okay, so here, let me grab a little mat here to work on. We'll put a little glue stick on our postcard. And as you can see, I didn't trim this out perfectly. And there's a reason for that. So I just left some, some border around that. Okay, let's bring our cardboard over and just smoosh it down right there. Sometimes you can just take a little ruler. Just kind of smush that down really good. And I want this to have a little bit of stability as well. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Oops, stuck to my fingers. Okay. All right. And that one right there. Okay. Now I'm all sticky. I'm always all sticky from this glue. I don't want to get any glue on that and mar that up. Okay, so now, a lot of times, it depends on the thickness of your cardboard, you can go ahead and cut this with a scissor. This cardboard here is not bad. It is a little thick though. So, we can go over and I'll show you plan B if your cardboard's really thick. A lot of times I'll use chipboard. And if you've ever used that, you know it's really thick. But it's very nice, too, for your project. So I just got my ruler. Just grab a little straight edge here. I'm going to line my ruler up right on the edge of my work. And just cut. The thing you want to remember here is keep a good pressure 
on your ruler so it doesn't slide around on you. Keep your knife it's kind of straight up and let it just run down the edge of your ruler. You can see, I think this is a much neater cut than with the scissor. Okay, that cut really nice. So you have a nice postcard front and on the back it's finished, so it looks good. Let's do the same thing here with this little vintage label. Okay, I know a lot of you out there always say to me, oh, I'm looking for fun ideas that I could sell at a craft show or a lot of you out there probably have like have a little antique booth you can make some of these cute little things to set around I've always did very well with ornaments in a craft show people just like they like the price point they like to fill up their Christmas trees and their house with cute little ornaments it's always a winner Okay, set that aside. All right, there's our there's our ornament base right there. I'm gonna grab, as usual, my distress ink. That's very distressed, and just ink up the edges of this. If there's a little cardboard or anything showing it'll just give it a nice finished look i love this postcard i fell in love with the pink roses and image of an old stamp very pretty you know a lot of times you don't have a vintage postcard that you want to make an ornament out of so it's so fun to have these downloads just i have like a huge collection of them you go through and just feel very inspired all right, let's put a hanger on this. Okay, I'm going to use a pipe cleaner. You can use ribbon, wire. As a matter of fact, I thought about using some wire on this because I haven't really did that in a video to kind of show you how that would look. But I didn't pull it out. So I promise in the next one we'll do, we'll do some wire got some really cute curly wire that makes a nice hanger okay so easy peasy on here basically just position it kind of in the center and hot glue puts it right on and you have your little hanger in place like that okay so you might have noticed there was a cute little girl on here. So this is one of my vintage paper dolls. And what I did was just scanned. And over on my blog, link will be below, I put this on there for you guys. Just right click it and take it and use it for all your projects. She's such a cutie. And I'm just going to kind of fussy cut here and cut her out just got these new little scissors they were um, cutter bee they look like a little bumblebee don't they <laughs> I, I found them on Amazon I always have I always ruin my scissors because I'm chopping up everything with them so I was like all right I'm getting these little tiny precision scissors I'm only going to use them maybe to cut ribbon and um, cut my paper so they're always sharp. All right. So she's real easy. We'll just cut her out. And go over and grab her and stick her in your stash. She's a cutie. There. All right. So. One of the things I like to do here, I wanted to put some of this feather boa on here, which by the way, this is all I have left. I gotta go shopping, find it in any craft store. 
and it just kind of wants to flop all over. So I have a tiny little wooden disc here. And what I'm going to do is actually put this on the disc and it'll be so much easier to work with. It's just one of those little, one of those little tips just to make life easier. I don't know. I have all these little bits and bobs laying around, but I'm happy to have them laying around because I certainly, certainly use them. Okay, so just with the hot glue, make this fit all the way around, smoosh it, and see, that's just so much easier to use, isn't it? Instead of trying to like get all your glue on the little postcard. The vintage tag, I thought it'd be pretty just to like put it on the edge here. And what's so nice, since our back looks nice, it's very finished looking. You don't have like a, cardboard back. All right, we'll put that right there. Take our feather boa. I like to use this feather boa. I've been using this stuff for years. It has such a cute little look about it. Okay. And then we cut out our little girl. You could always give her a little dab. I just like the little vintagey effect that has on paper. And we're gonna set her right there. So just some glue on the back and just really smush her right on there. Okay, I need a couple other little things to finish this off. So let me grab them. Okay, pulled out a few more things. I had a little pom-pom trim here. Isn't this cute? And actually, before I glued down this little um, feather boa piece, I should have put this on here, but it's not really a big deal. So you kind of blow that out of the way a little bit. I'm just going to run a little bead of hot glue here and just lay the trim right on there. There we go. I forgot about it, that I wanted to use that. Sometimes I just get so caught up in everything. Right. You know, these scissors are horrible. See what I mean about ruining scissors? Okay, and this is so such a pretty little gingham ribbon. It's navy and white. I got this at Hobby Lobby. So I had a little bow we'll just put right there. Okay, oh, she's looking cute. And let's dig through here and see what we can find. It's pretty. We'll add a bit of little pink rose right on that postcard. So sweet. So, so cute, cute, cute. Okay, now you know what we're gonna do is grab a little bit of Mod Podge and add a bit of glitter to this project. I'm seeing a glittered bow in her hair. Sprinkling on just a little little clear glitter. Mm, that's cute. And let's see. How about how about on the edge of this vintage tag? Just kind of take my paintbrush and scrape it right there along the side. If you have a lot of, excuse me, I didn't put that in my mouth. If you have a lot of glitter left over here, you can just kind of glide that in there. Makes a little edge. And look, didn't that turn out cute? Here's her little friend right here. These are just absolutely adorable. So I really, an extra thank you, an extra shout out to to Marissa over at Sweet Pea Curiosities and I hope you'll pop over there and support her shop. And now let me grab my assemblages real quick and show you some new ones that I just made. So the first piece I wanted to show you, this started out as a metal, um, maybe a jello mold or a little cake pan, something like that. And I saw some of the girls doing a paint technique that where you use um, 
a, like a gray chalk paint and then use the white wax over it it makes it look like concrete and it actually does I thought the finish on this turned out great and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it and it's like you know what I'm just gonna fill this up and do an assemblage and uh, this is so sweet this is filled with beautiful old crochet lace this pink lace in here is from the flea market it's absolutely adorable lots of flowers um blue satin bow and this sweet little vintage baby deer which my husband and i walk in a park by our house every morning and we actually saw nine little baby spotted deer today and I don't know for me like when you're just stressed out by the world and you see those little baby deer it it's just kind of grounding you know it just kind of brings you back to just appreciate the beauty so um, beautiful little dove all glittered up and this is called start each day with a grateful heart and I put a little metal hanger here on the back so it pops right on the wall and uh, so this this one I thought turned out pretty special Okay, this little assemblage here, I thought she turned out really special. I started here with chipboard. Uh, this is some wallpaper, uh, glittered the roses, a lot of vintage lace I added to this. Uh, of course, the star of the show is this beautiful little doll here. She is just stunning in her little lace dress. And from an old greeting card, I cut out the words that say, Dear, my love for you will be for life's duration. All the love you gave to me will be my inspiration. So this is pretty sweet. And I added an easel to the back if you want to stand this up or a lace hanger if you prefer to hang it. So I'm not sure what to call her. I guess she would be um, uh, all the love you gave to me will be my inspiration. All of these pieces are available in my Etsy shop. The link to my shop is below. Um, I would like to again thank Marissa over at Sweet Pea Curiosities for today's inspiration for the ornament tutorial. And thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And if you know someone that enjoys crafting, please share my channel. So until next time, I hope you will join me for my next creative project. Until then, stay creative and I'll see you soon.